Hello, good morning uh, once again, my dear Mathium 5 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Okay, so we have here our lesson for today. This is about finding the median for the group data. Now, by the way, today is uh, Wednesday, uh, the 10th of February, 2021. Okay. So this is the second half of the median, finding the median by means of grouping. Now, especially if the data are plenty. So we need to group the data, especially if the data is also like uh, far to each other. Okay. So we need to find the median by means of group data. Okay. So what is a median? Then the median of a group data can be obtained by three methods. Okay, there are three methods that we can use to figure out the median. One of these is by calculating using a formula. Okay, now again, we, uh, we define already what is the meaning of median. As we said, that this is the middle value of the data set. Na? So this is the formula that we're going to use in order that we can find the median for group data. Okay, so we say for median, we abbreviate that as MED, as MED is equal to L plus uh, N uh, over 2 minus CF over F times H. So what are these? Now L stands for the lower limit of the median class. Okay, lower limit. We have N, this one, that is the number of observation, or we say this one, the whole of, the, of this, N divided by 2 would be the median class. N divided by 2 is the median class, okay? CF is the cumulative frequency of class preceding, okay? So we get the, the cumulative frequency of the class preceding, not the actual uh, cumulative frequency of the median class, but preceding before the value or the class frequency, uh, the cumulative frequency before the cumulative frequency of the median class. F is the frequency of the median class. H is the class size or the class interval, assuming that class size to be equal. Okay, so every class size are equal to each other. Now, so we're going to apply this in the next slide using uh, with our uh, example. This one. So we have here our example number one. It says the data below are the distances between students from home and to school okay so the distances are in kilometers we have here and we have here the number of students the frequency and we have here the cumulative frequency cf cumulative frequency okay so the distance we have here already the interval 0 to 4 5 to 9 10 to 14 15 to 19 20 to 24 25 to 29 so therefore the class size is 4 Okay, or the class interval is 4. Na? Okay, so we have here the frequency. These are the respondent or the student who joined the survey. And we're going to find the commutative frequency. Okay, so we start now. How to find the commutative frequency? Now, the commutative frequency is just the sum of the number of students. We just add this uh, number of student per, uh, per per class okay so we start with six then six plus three we have nine then nine plus seven we have sixteen sixteen plus ten is twenty six twenty six plus eight is thirty four and thirty four plus two is thirty six so we have here all the cumulative frequency. So this means that this is the the limit for each uh, uh, for each group, okay, for each class. So for for this first class, up to six only, okay, the data. This one is up to nine, up to sixteen, up to twenty six, up to thirty four, and up to thirty six only, okay. Now, so after this one we're going to find what is the median class so that we're going to base there the value of the frequency and the value of the cumulative frequency okay as well as the lower limit 
So we know that the uh, class, uh, class uh, median class is equal to n divided by 2. Na? Okay. So we know already what is the value of n, which is 36. 36 is the sum of the respondent or the student who joined the survey. Okay, so this is the value of n, 36. So we divided that by 2 and we give you 18. So 18, and you will look at the cumulative frequency. So where does 18 belong? It belongs to this, 26, right? Because 16, not yet. We still have 18, okay? So for this class, the limit is up to 26. So we're going to go with this class as our median class. That one. So we're going to base our data from here. Na? Our median class. We're going to base our lower, lower limit, our frequency, and our cumulative frequency. Okay? Now we have here uh, the formula. Right there. And uh, we're going to find first the, the values of the lower limit, the value of uh, cumulative frequency, the frequency, and the height. Or in some other uh, book, they're using I or interval, but they're just the same. Height, interval, or class size, just the same. So we have here the different value taken from this uh, class, BGN class. We have here. The lower limit is 14.5, right? So because, because we have here 15, so minus 0 0.5, the lower limit will be 14.5, right? Okay. Then the frequency is the frequency itself, which is 10. Okay, we have here. The cumulative frequency is the cumulative frequency of the preceding class, meaning before the cumulative frequency before that class, before the median class, which is 16 is before. Na? And we have the class size or the height, which is 5. Yeah, 5. Sorry, that's not 4. It's 5. Sorry. So we have 0 to 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the class size is 5 or the height is 5. Na? Okay. So we can substitute all of this value to our formula here. Now we know already that the median class n over 2 is... 18, right? So we substitute that. Here we go. The median is equal to 14.5. Then, uh, that is the lower limit, sorry. Plus, we have here the median class, n over 2 is 18. Then the uh, cumulative frequency of the preceding class is 16. We have the frequency of the median class, which is 10. And the class size is 5. Now, so we simplify this, 18 minus 16 is 2, right? Then 2 over 10 is 1 over 5, okay? Times 5, we have here, okay? Did you understand my? So 18 minus 2 is 2, 2 over 10 is 1 over 5, nah? And uh, we multiply by 5, we can cut this. So what will be remaining will be 1. We have 14.5 plus 1. Or that would be the median is 15.5. Okay? Did you understand my question? So I hope that you understand on how to figure out the, the median for group data. Okay, so we go to the next example. So we have here, given the frequency table of the scores collected last week. Okay, so we have already the frequency table. We have here the scores. We have here, we have the frequency, and we have here the cumulative frequency. Na? So again, for the class interval, that is 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, it's 5. So the class size is 5. Na? Okay, so we have here the frequency and Again, we need to figure out what are the data for cumulative frequency by just adding every frequency of each uh, class. Na? So we start with 3, then 3 plus 2 is 5, then 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, 
Then 11 plus 4 is for uh, 15. Uh, 11 plus 4 is for, for 15. Sorry. Hey. So, again, this is the value of n. This is the value of n. Okay, Mike? Now, after that, we're going to figure out what is the median class. So, the median class would be n divided by 2. We have the value of n here, which is 15 divided by 2, or that would be 7.5. Now, now, again, from this, we look back to the cumulative frequency. So, it's not 5 because the limit is only up to here. And we go to 10. Now, the limit for this class is up to 10. We have only 7.5. Sorry, Mike. Okay, so this will be our median class. And we're going to get all the data based on this class here. Now, our lower limit, our frequency, and our cumulative frequency. Now, so we start again. We have the formula. There we go. And next is we uh, write first the, the data or the values of this data here. Like the lower limit, the cumulative frequency, the frequency, and the class size. You have this one. You have 7.75.5 as a lower limit. 5 is the frequency. Cumulative frequency is 5, this one. Frequency is this one. And we have the height, which is 5. So 66 to 70 is 5. 71 to 75 is 5. 76 to 80 is 5. All is five, are 5. Okay, now we substitute again this value to our formula. We have there 75.5 plus, again, the median class n over 2 is 7.5 minus the CF or the cumulative frequency 5 divided by the frequency 5, and we have the height is 5. Na? Okay, so we simplify this and we can cut this directly. So we have 7.5 minus 5, we have. 2.5 and we can cut this 5 and 5 so we have 7 uh, 75.5 plus 2.5 for our median for this data set is equal to 78 okay 75.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 78 okay my did you understand my question okay so i hope that you understand uh, our two examples here in figuring or figure out the the median for the group data okay so we have here our exercise for today this one so we have here the following are the scores obtained by some five slash two students from the recent exam okay so we have the data set and you're going to divide this into five classes so you know already how to do this and create a frequency table and find its median. Nah. So again, please complete your solution. You copy this, you divide in, uh, you find the find the range, and you find the uh, class interval, and you create the frequency table and find the median. Okay, my. Okay. Uh, if you don't have any more question, that's all for today, and we we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.